Okay, our take on the Leopard 45's forward cockpit area. As you can see, we're sitting here and we've got the most spectacular sunset that we haven't seen for a long time. It is just truly amazing. Feel the spray of the waves on my face. Atlantic Indian Ocean Blue. Whoa, land in sight to starboard. Got me home from where I roam. Sailing sister. We know we know in a high pressure zone here. Basically going into the center, we're on our way to the island. And the only way to get to the island is through the high pressure zone. And we had to start the engine. But look at this lovely sunset behind me. It's going to be really a very, very, very good sunset. And I have a feeling we can either sit here and listening to the noise. So we can sit here in the back cockpit, having a nice wine, nice dinner. Mm. Um, but you will always hear this humming of the engine. Or, <laughs> take this, non-Leopard 45 owners or non-Leopard owners. We can actually go through here. And let's just open these things here. And we can sit here and we will not hear the engine. How is that? Isn't that awesome? I think this is where we're going to have dinner tonight. Yeah, so we, we had to start the engine, as I told you earlier, that because we're just in a high pressure zone and we have to get there. <laughs> you can either go around the high pressure system or you can go through it. And go. So, and the island and where we're going to is like in the middle, so we've got to go through it. <laughs> so we, we, we just wanted to say, after a lot of debate on the forward cockpit, and, and, and I think we're going to do this in a couple of episodes, not just one, just to, just to show you guys how many times do we spend here. This passage is a four day passage, three nights, four days. And uh, yes, or, honestly, we did not spend here uh -uh. Um, during the passage because it was all the time into the wind. Yeah, upwind. Upwind. Um, and we, during those days, you cannot use it. But the rest of the time, like today. It's just amazing. It's, we, we're like safe inside of it. But you're not exposed to the, it's sunken. So you, you're really sitting here like a cocoon and you've got this, Vast view in front of you, and it's that, nice. That's a good point, actually. Now, when when we actually on also on um, a passage like we are, and you do night watches, you can be in a cockpit and you have to look through the screen and you, you know the the, the thing the in windows, it. Yeah. The, the windows, yeah. The windows and it might there might be salt on it already because it's a couple of days that you're already here. So you can't see very well. Yeah, it's not. It's like a glare that yeah. looks back at you. Yeah. And then when you sit here, you can actually see everything. And you're still safe. 
Like when we went through the doldrums, you see all these thunderstorms around you. Ooh, yeah. So you can see them clearly wherever they are. So that was just, this is, this. Uh, yeah, and you still feel safe, there. right? You, you sit here inside this cockpit. You, there's nothing that you're going to fall out or you don't even need to put your harness on, but you have an excellent view. Like everything in front of you, you can see. The only the lifelines is in my way and that stanchion and like, but the rest of the view is open, open. You can see all the little fishing nets. You can see the fishing trawlers. You can see other boats or other ships. You can see, oh, hopefully we'll see the island and, and, and not have, go into the island. <laughs> and we have the, the, the pad oh, that, yeah. we can, that we can see and, everything on. And here is, here is so, a little pad. So from here, we, we have full control over all our instruments. So we can actually now here, we can actually go home, we can see... Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we can, we can control everything from here. So it is, you don't need to be in on other place there. You can see the ships on IIAs, you can see the storms on the radar, and if you sit here, you can actually see the storms. And then, of course, you can see this marvelous sunset. And you know, another benefit as well is this door. Um, so you don't have to walk around on the outside to oh. come and sit on the front deck in a situation like this. You can just pop in, in and out of the door. So there's no risk of falling overboard. Not that you will in such cold weather, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's just you right here. It's the galley is here, your food is here, everything is right here. So you just in and, you pop in and out. We keep this door open um, when the weather is good. There's this, the, when she mentioned the door, I also remember our water tanks is right here. So for me to go and check the water tanks, I can either go around using the lifelines and it's very tricky and it's shaky, or I can just go through the door, lock the door behind me, come in here and then just the, the lockers is right here. So you open it up here. And you can be flat on your knees or on your bum yeah. and you can open it up you can check the water levels and you can switch on because the water maker is going to either tank either to the forward tank or the uh, off tank and i can switch it from here so you can just quickly go here and and come back no unnecessary risk to actually walking yeah. around yeah. on that yeah. side yeah. and i mean it sometimes is really hectic even if i get here the water is just coming up it's over crazy. here. <laughs> Which it does often when it's crazy going. I mean, it's just like a waterfall coming in here. But like two seconds and there's no more water. So it's just like that it rains. It's like in almost, fact, there's a big hole I in mean, here. We, we've, we've not been in a very big storm, right? I don't think we can say we've been in a big storm where there's crashing waves and stuff like that. But we've had we we had three meter waves and things like that, but it was not crashing and, and going crazy. It was, it was just big winds, maybe 32 knots of wind or things like that, which is very high winds. But that said, we've been many times that the water will come over and I've never seen any water in here. You can see evidence that there was water, but you can actually never see the water. Um, and, and, and this is a blurry thick piece of glass so even if the water splashes there but like I said we, we yeah um, other guys our famous notorious friend he, he, he has a real concern and we've never been in those conditions and I don't think we want to be in those conditions but it's possible uh, we don't that we might get yeah. into those conditions yeah. right we, we don't question the cockpit um, yeah so we, but I, I actually talked to Simonis and the, the designer of the Leopard 45. And he was, he was actually telling me how they did all of this and the research and the testing they've done. And, and Pietro, the, this boat will not be certified for charters in America or in the BVI or wherever, if it was not certified to be safe. Exactly. They will never endorse a product that they're going to come second. Way. It's not Robertson Kane, it's not Leopard, 
it is actually the Coast Guard, US Coast Guard, or the British Navy, or no, whatever safety body or me mechanism there is for testing this claims that Leopard is doing or Robinson Can is doing. And they're making sure, yes, this thing is super safe. Because you're going to charter people out and the people is going to is going to use this boat. And it they might get into a, a storm that water is rushing over and then they need to be able to be safe. Yeah. So, no, we, we, we feel comfortable with all situation it's never been a doubt in our minds as and to the safety of it and what alex was the architect was telling me they designed the leopard 45 as if this cockpit is full of water that's as <laughs> I, I wanted <laughs> to say a shitload of water but it's a it's a lot of tons i think maybe easily three tons in here yeah, I, I i can imagine three tons yeah. or maybe four tons even but they designed it, which is kind of like a, a pain in the ass because these two bows is super buoyant. <laughs> now, you, you easily go porcupine over, over, well, it has to be like a two meter wave, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. And you know, you get this, 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 this cross swells that's coming from the side. I think it's like a huge spray that comes over. It's a lot and of the cross swell will come in you go, you go, maybe the 50 degrees through wind angle. So you will go there. But on on this one is a little one. So if you just bear off on your 50 degrees from the true wind that's coming in, there's a little swell and they come in, in sets of three. I don't know why it's always like that, but sets of three or something like that. And, and I might be like one or two meters high. And I just flipped the boat up and because the bow is quite buoyant, it flips up and then there's nothing, it goes down. And the third one, wax. Uh, so you always need to find the middle way between the big ways and this little the cross. Spot, yeah. yeah, you need to find the sweet spot. And we're getting good at that. Yeah? Yeah. Even I'm not getting shot at that so much. <laughs> yeah, because you know, someone needs to sleep too. <laughs> and it is good for the rigging if we don't slam. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, but it has to be pretty big waves. I mean, the small ones don't matter, but it, it is, but they come in three good. sets and I like two meter high and they're very sharp and I just lift the bow up, okay. bow comes down. So either we, like a motor, go through them, which is not comfortable, which will make this cockpit full of water every time, or with that safety in mind, it was designed that it will actually go over them, which is a little bit of yeah. pain. But uh, we, we really try to get slamming. I, I will make another video on slamming. Because <laughs> we, we really sometimes want to get slammed so I can make video about it and it just doesn't happen. <laughs> well, you don't want it to happen, then it happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. And it's always those little three buggers that's coming on, on in a row. Oh, the last time we had a view like this was in the doldrums. So it was just flat sea. Beautiful sunsets. There we spent every single night in yeah. the cockpit coming up off the coast. Like yeah, downwind every sailing was night. Eh? That was our ritual yeah, where, when you do downwind, downwind sailing or doldrum sailing, motoring. Um, then we can and we can sit here and we doing ten knots, and it is super safe downwind. Super super safe. Super nice. Very comfy. Peter will make a dinner, we will come here, we have a nice dinner, nice sunset. Mm, and it's awesome. And then one hour after sunset, the one that needs to go sleep, go sleep, and the other one that's on duty will start the night watch. And like tonight I'll probably spend down here on night watch. Yeah, it is. Oh dear. Yeah, and it was Hopefully, see the island. The island is somewhere there. Yeah, it's right bank smack in front of us. Yeah, we can see the see little it. one, but we can't see. It's too much cloud. But I there. think when we when the lights go, and we will see. Yeah. And it's still ten hours or twelve hours to go, and it's <laughs> yeah. like right here. <laughs> Amazing. I think catamarans is. 
besides that, there's also awesome copper that many doesn't have or do not have. Is that for catamarans you can sit in front on a on a trampoline or on the lockers. It's just you can use every little space on your boat, and um, you still feel safe. And you still feel safe. There's a lot of spaces where you can just chill and have a good time. So. Yeah, everything is not just aft. Everything happens aft on, on boats. We do it. We don't do it. We use all boats. <laughs>